Three teens arrested in the shooting of a photographer at Encanto Park. All of it playing out on Facebook Live. Miraculously, that man survived. ABC 15's Mike Pelton talking exclusively with him tonight. And Mike, the suspects caught in large part because of what they left at the scene. Yeah, well, the 33 year old victim at the park to take scenic pictures and before he was shot, the suspects asked the man to take their photo. Now the suspects never stole the victim's camera, so those pictures actually helped police track them down. I'm surviving because of the blessing of God. For obvious reasons, he doesn't want his face or real name out there. We'll call him CT, the photographer shot at Encanto Park. He says his first time there. I decided to go there that night so to, because I see it has a leak. Court documents reveal the man was shot nine times. Police arresting a 17 year old as well as 18 year olds, Ricardo Mendoza Sanchez and Angel Ortega Romero. I would just ask them, why, why they did it? Uh, I mean, I was nothing but nice to them. The victim with a tripod and camera streaming his evening at Encanto Park on Facebook Live. I charge 20 bucks, man. When three guys walk up and apparently request a picture. Well, let me show you how you look. The three pose after CT says he decided to take the pic for free. Two steps to your, uh, to, to my right. An argument then ensues when one of the men uses a racial slur. My man. I told you, you can see the N word. You're not black. The photographer about to end up in a bad situation. We warn you, this is graphic. Did I say the, 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 don't say the N word? Did I say that? Yeah. I get pulled. The phone falls to the ground. The photographer somehow still able to call for help. Hey, I just got shot. I'm in Encanto Park. The suspects leaving the victim's phone and camera at the scene. Using those pictures was a key element in identifying who these three young men were. I'm here because of the blessing of God. I'm here because I have a purpose on earth. And remarkably, the victim tells me he expects to make a full recovery. Now, as for the teen suspects, according to court documents, they are tied to street gangs. And Phoenix police tell me that two of them were armed with handguns when officers showed up to arrest them. For now, we're live in Phoenix tonight. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona.